hydroponics horticulture without soil to make students more environmentally sensitive mount carmel central school introduced hydroponics as an extracurricular activity during one mahotsava project which centered on the green environment clean environment hydroponics is a method of growing crops without soil by using mineral nutrient solutions in an aqueous solvent many students participated in the project enthusiastically the freedom of selecting the seeds among the two crops coriander and methi were given to them the students recorded various stages of plant growth also took photograph as well as videographed the germinating phases of the seedling it took approximately 15 to 20 days for the harvest the students expressed that the project was very innovative and helped them to develop life skill of maintaining a kitchen garden in limited space the main learning outcome of the project is to gain knowledge on the modern techniques of farming that can be grown indoors or in a greenhouse hydroponics is one such method that the growers will take full management of the environment climate temperature lights ventilation and so on benefits of hydroponics plants grown in water can grow faster and healthier than plants grown in soil because they don't have to fight soil borne diseases and can obtain all essential nutrients in proper proportions all the food and water they need are given directly to their roots the root system stays smaller so each plant can concentrate its energy on producing plant mass rather than roots plants can be grown anywhere the post covid world needs a host of new innovations and ideas keeping the need of the hour in mind we at mount carmel central school encourage and support the students for experiential learning i have these fabric seeds which you can get in any grocery store i have a seed tissue paper a piece of cotton cloth and a bucket of water place the seed on the bucket of water and see to it that the water doesn't touch the seed now place the tissue paper on the seed and sprinkle the water over it after the sprinkling of water spread the seeds all over and spread it like this after the spreading of the seeds place the piece of cloth over the seeds and sprinkle water over it place the bucket in partial shade after 3 days the seeds have started sprouting now again place the wet cloth sprinkle water so that the seeds remain moist on the 7th day tender leaves have started growing and the roots have come out from the holes of the seed touching the water we need to take the pot and keep the top of the basket we need to also notice that the water in the basket should partially touch the base of the pot plastic pot now we have to take the cloth and spread in the pot only two pieces of cloth should be taken now we have to spread the coriander seeds Now, for the moisture needed, we need to sprinkle the water. 
water. I am so happy to join my school in the campaign. Mother Major cries, make her to smile. All the thrilled and excited to take part and learn this new concept called hydroponics. The process of growing plants without soil is called hydroponics. Try to learn to grow plants in water. I have kept these seeds on this cloth, in this tree and in this water bucket. I will take care of it and I will get back once the seeds are germinated. Bye for now. And today is the 8th day of my hydroponics and yippee! The seeds have sprouted. The first sign of growth was a tiny root coming from the seed. Look at the tiny roots and the green leaves. Cool, isn't it? I took my seed basket in my balcony so that the seeds are protected from the rain and so that the growing plant sucks to sunlight and can start its photosynthesis process. Let me take care of it for a few more days and I'll get back next week. Bye for now! grow hydroponically. Look at the roots. Isn't it cool? I am so happy. Learn.